Technique for measuring pulse wave velocity. Objective, to measure pulse wave velocity in order to assess the stiffness of the aorta. Material. This test requires a Sphygma Core version 8.0 or similar, with the accompanying software, a tonometer, electrodes, a measuring tape, gloves, and a room temperature between 21 and 24 degrees Celsius. The patients appearing in this video are actors. Patient preparation phase. Before beginning, the height, weight, and blood pressure of the patient are measured. He, she is informed of the test to be carried out, that it will last for 20 minutes, that jewelry and watches should be removed, and that the patient should remove clothing from the torso. He or she lies on the examining table in the supine position. Implementation phase. Firstly, patient data are introduced into the computer. The proximal distance is measured. To do this, a measurement is taken using the index and middle fingers from the glottis until the carotid pulse is found. The site where the pulse is strongest is marked. We look for the proximal part of the sternal manubrium and mark it out and proceed to measure the proximal distance. Then we measure the distal distance. To do this, we look for the femoral pulse at the internal third of the inguinal fold, where the pulse is strongest and we mark it out. We then proceed to make a distal measurement from the sternal manubrium to the femoral pulse. The data is introduced into the computer, remembering to enter the distances in millimeters. Then electrodes are placed on the patient in order to obtain a continuous electrocardiographic recording. Select Data Capture on the screen. The message A Carotid site will appear and click Accept. With the head gently tilted to the left, we look for the carotid pulse again and apply the tonometer to that point. A strong, stable and reproducible wave must be obtained that we can register for some 10 to 30 seconds. To continue, we press the space button and ascertain that we are in the femoral area. Once confirmed, we apply the tonometer over the femoral artery. Once again, a strong, stable and reproducible wave must be obtained that we can register for some 10 to 30 seconds. Press the spacebar and enter the screen with the results of the pulse wave velocity, where we can appreciate with more detail the exact results of the wave velocity, which in this case is 6 meters per second. Thank you.